Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'll be showing you how to solve a 2x2x4. Two by two by now some basic things you need to know before you solve this, is it's, the solve will be a lot like a 4x4 four four where you have to make edge pairs by like moving them in certain spots and then turning or um, kind of doing an AUF, but it's a setup move to get all of them aligned like this, and then you turn it and then it finally makes a pair. You'll kind of be doing that with like the last layer for these. So yeah, so first of all to scramble it, you'll want to do these kind of like just normal moves on this axis. And then two moves for this to like properly scramble it. And then you're start gonna you're gonna start doing the shape shifting. So I'm just gonna scramble this up really well. And then after you have it all scrambled up, you can start shape shifting it. And then it'll be properly, completely scrambled. So. Okay. So, let's start um, the tutorial on how to solve it. So, basically, you're going to want to make the white side. Or, yeah, the white side, because one of the two sides here. Since this is a Rubik's brand 2x2x4, two by two by it's like white and then blue on top. So, I'm going to do white. Just because it'll make things way easier. And then, this part's just really simple. It's just like a normal 2x2. Two two. Just these tips right here. Whichever color they are, that's like, for example, if this were yellow. These would be the yellow facing up. And this will be the white facing down. And then this case right here. Looks kind of like a windmill with this one sticking up. This is just a soon. Because, remember, these are the yellows. You can get a soon here, an anti soon, but this is just a normal soon. So I'm just gonna do the algorithm for that. And you should already know how to solve two by two, three by three, and you should be able to solve a four by four. It'll be way easier to solve because before, well, before I learned how to solve a four by four, or wasn't that good at four by four, I was struggling on this. So yeah, but now we're gonna want to make pairs. So I'm gonna start off with making white pairs, and um. I shouldn't have made the white yet because I'll want to pair them up first. Like, for example, this red and green pair, it might go with this, but it doesn't. So the other pair is right there, or the other thing that I could pair it up with. And then now it's actually paired. And let's go with this one and find the piece. This obviously isn't the piece because they're opposites. It's right here. Do a two move. And then. You're going to want to insert it like this, just to pair it up, like normal 4x4 four four pairs. You put it in place, and then you turn it. It should be a lot easier if you know how to solve 4x4, four four, like I said. But, there you go. Just put them in the bottom like you're solving white. And then, let's see, where's the next pair? The red and yellow. Let's put it on here. There's the next pair, down here. And the orange and green so I'm just gonna put in the last pair just like I'm doing normal um, two by two so now this is where it kind of gets confusing where you're gonna have to kind of make like kind of two by two by or four by four type thing we have to align them in a certain way to like when you turn it it'll make sense so, as you can see, if I turned it, uh, did a U2, it would get these two paired up, but these two aren't. So I'm just going to do U or U prime. It doesn't matter which one you do, as long as you do one of those, to kind of make sure there's no pairs. As long as there's no pairs, you're good. And now you're going to have to do, like, a bunch of permutations, like A perm, T perm. That's basically the only thing you have to do. You could do an N perm, but you don't have to. Just A perms and T perms, because they do the same thing on 2 by 2 but now you're going to want to do it so that if you did a U2 or a U prime or a U, they would line up in a way you would make 4x4 four four pairs, or edge pairs, I mean. So, if I did a U2, this orange and yellow would line up here, this red and yellow would line up here, but then these two won't. So, I'm just going to see how will I make a green bar, like right here, so that I can do a U2. You can probably just do an A perm 
and then a perm at the back. But I don't know if that would work, so I'm going to do a T perm, which is the same thing I'm going to do on this axis or on this one. I'm, you basically just do trial and error, but once you solve a couple of times, you would get better because, like, you would know what would what would this do and stuff. So, let's see. Nope, it only made one pair. So that's obviously not right. So now also inspecting the cube again. I can, I'm going to see where these two would go like a normal 404 edge pair. And then find the one that goes here. And then figure out a way if I were to turn it. Alright, if I were to switch, because it switches these this entire block. So these two are one, these two are one. So if I switch this, it's kind of hard to understand, especially if you're a beginner, but just pay attention. But so this would go right here, so this can line up, and this can go here, and then since these two are switched, when I turn it um, a U prime, it would go here, and then this one will go here, which will be switched. So then, yeah, I'm gonna do in T perm again. Because it'll switch these two. So. T perm. Alright, let's see if that worked. And yes, it did. I have all these paired up. So now I can just solve it like a normal 2x2. Because this would be one corner. This will be one corner, one corner, one corner, one corner, so on. So I can just do. Let's go an end perm, or half an end perm, I guess. And it's solved. So yeah, I did make another vid or another tutorial on how to solve it on my other channel, but that one wasn't that good. So yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like on this video if you liked it. Comment and subscribe for what I should do next. And yeah, make sure to support me on Patreon. My link is down in the description below. Follow me on Instagram. It's at not eman. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.